Well, Maratoon is a, a wonderful place. Um, it's a very long parish. Um, it, it borders three different counties, Mead, Loud and Cavan. Where we are at the moment is Lower Maratoon. Um, but as a parish and as a club, we're very much all the one. Um, Our Ladies Club um, is formed since 1990. And it's um, you know I suppose it's, it's a brilliant um, it's a brilliant club and, and some really brilliant coaches and brilliant uh, players that have gone through the through the, the ranks over the years and we're still very strong and still very um, with great numbers involved in the, in the in the club. We had our heartache of the pitch collapsing in September 2018 and um, it really pulled the whole the whole parish and the whole club so much together. It collapsed on a Monday morning and um, the caretakers went to open the pitch and noticed some subsidence and. Um, I suppose since that we've never been up near the pitch since and it's it's now uh, all flattened, all the buildings, train, uh, the training uh, dressing rooms and all have been flattened and we're here now um, in our temporary grounds which we have been in since uh, June 2019 and we're very thankful for the, the local farmers that have given us the grounds to, to train and that's where we are, this is our hub of our, our, our parish now. So the one good club actually was we actually entered or um, applied to enter it in 2019 um, but obviously, because of COVID, it, it didn't, it couldn't, it couldn't happen. They couldn't run it out in 20, in 2020. So, it it came around this year again. We were offered um, the option to do it, and of course, we jumped at the chance because obviously, mental health is something that's, um, you know, it, it's I suppose it's a, it's something that's not talked about enough. And we felt it, it was a great way to get us um, in the club to learn more about it and to to really show the impact of it in, in the, you know, to really help people out in the parish and show where we were getting involved in it. So being involved in. Lidl's One Good Club initiative. Um, the conversation around mental health has improved in Ireland over the years, but we felt like it would be an opportunity to educate ourselves a little more. So we implemented a lot of different things throughout the 10 week program to kind of uh, key into all of these different themes. So first of all, for Connect, we reached out to the three local primary schools in the parish and we asked all of the children to draw a picture of something that made them happy. And out of that, we had over 100 applicants and we picked one lucky winner uh, to create a postcard. And then this postcard then would be made freely available for people to pick up in local shops so that they could send it to a loved one to tell them that they were thinking about them and, and form those connections that we kind of lost throughout the pandemic. Um, I drew, I, I drew a, a postcard and a, it said, every dark tunnel has a bright end, here it comes. Mm. Did it take you long to do the drawing? Yeah. How long? I don't know. <laughs> you could easily be a politician down the road, I can see it. Tell me, Kayla, about football. Do you love football? Yeah, I play it at school every day. And would you like to play for Monaghan? Yeah. And what position would you play in? Uh, seven. Did you score goals? Yeah. We're eight weeks into it now at the moment and it's all been done virtually. So each of the sections has been done virtually and even for our steering committee to meet up, it's all, it's all done virtually. So it is difficult, but thank God for social media, I suppose, in that sense. Uh, I know they talk about social media with, with mental health, but it really has helped that we could um, you know, get, get uh, messages out to our, to our people and to our uh, players and to our young people and they really responded really well. So it's, it's, it has, it has had, had a brilliant impact. You always look up to your older players in the club when you're 10 years old, you dream of playing senior football for your club. So we asked the older players of the club to write letters to the younger players of the club and maybe tell them something that they thought was important to like a skill to learn or what it was like when they were their age to play football for Marklin. And then for uh, Be Active, we ran a lot of different exercise classes and um, we have a huge amount of talent within the club. As part of the Take Notice Challenge, we've done the treasure hunt around the parish. So clues were given out on Facebook and you had the chance to take part in it. So the clues were given out and the jigsaw puzzles were put in all the clue places. Some of the clues were about the history of our clue, really had to think about them and like, oh yeah, it might be here, it might be there. And then you drive to one place and it might be there, so you had to drive to another. So yeah, it was lovely just to see everywhere and a nice day, windows down and just lovely so it was. So whenever you got the, the phrase or the slogan, you went down to our local shop, Justin's, and you got your free ice cream and got, a, and got your picture taken. It was put up on Facebook as the winner. So. As a club, we decided to go around the different graveyards in our community. 
and we put flowers on the graves to give respect to those who have gone before us. Uh, we also decided to give flowers to the elderly in our community with a positive message attached and um, to give light to them in this difficult time. I took part in the Be Active Challenge and I was lying on the floor and you put your shoe on your foot and you turned 360 degrees and you had to try and keep the shoe on your foot the whole time. And did many people succeed in doing that? Yeah, a good few did, but I'd say there was many fails as well. How about, how about Millie Burns? Did she do it? I did, I, I did it in the end, yeah. I took part in the Keep Learning initiative and uh, Amy Duffy did it in art class and had a draw a rose and paint it using different strengths of coffee. So I had two, three cups with uh, hot water and the first cup with one spoon of coffee, the second cup with two spoons of coffee and the third cup with three spoons of coffee so that they'd be different uh, shades of brown. And we did the wall squat challenge for Mitchell's Fittest Family challenge. Oh. And what did that involve? Um, we had to squat against the wall yeah. as a family and then it was our combined times. Mm. Very challenging. Yeah. And what did you like about it, Katie? Um, it tested us as like a family to see if we could do it. And did you give out to Dad? A bit. <laughs> <laughs> Was he able to do it? Well, I lasted longer than him. <laughs>